on this edition of Titans All Access. Running back Derrick Henry sits down for a chat, coming off his best performance of the season. Derrick Henry to Peter, 69 yards. Derrick Henry. Number 22 shares his thoughts on his 2019 season so far and what he expects from the season's final six games. And just like that, an answer. Henry five, Henry in zone. He's in the end zone standing up. Touchdown, Titans. The Nissan Insider with Derrick Henry and a lot more. It's time to get back to work as Titans All Access starts now. This is gonna hurt. He's sacked! Taken down by Wesley Woodyard! 69 yards, Derrick Henry. Touchdown, Titans! Tennessee will not go quietly on this Sunday. Welcome to another edition of Titans All Access. With Amy Wells, I'm Mike Keith, and we're glad you're with us after the bye. Are you refreshed? I'm refreshed, I'm rejuvenated, six more games, and I'm ready to win them all. Six wins. Yep. That's the way to go. All right, let's start off the program talking about two things we love. Mom and Campbell's Soup. Something else we love, Kevin Byard. Absolutely, and all three of those things got together. Mom, Soup, Kevin Byard, and they went to Stratford High School in Nashville. Check this out. <laughs> We're here with Campbell's Chunky Soup. We're here at Stratford High School. We're about to go surprise the football team. About to go say a few words of encouragement. Probably get with the little DBs a little bit, talk some football, and just enjoy our time here today. It's gonna be fun. We're excited, so let's go. Everybody up. People are watching y'all. People know how good you guys are doing this year, but also they know what you're wow. doing in the classroom. When you work hard, cool things happen. Uh, I don't know if y'all watch football, but Kevin Byer, and his mother are right there. Kevin Byard is, is a Tennessee Titan, man. So, hey, y'all clap it up for Kevin. <laughs> what's up, what's up, what's going on, what's going on? How y'all doing, how y'all doing? What's up, how you doing, how you doing? What's up to meet y'all boys? I came out here today, I brought my beautiful mom with me today, Artina. Uh, we came out here to show y'all boys some love. I know y'all made the playoffs, but at the same time, really focus on the game that's in front of you right now, because that's all you really promised right now. So make sure you go out there and dominate those boys. Take it one day at a time, one game at a time. Every one of y'all should have college aspirations. Want to go play college football, want to go D1, want to go do those things. But when you want to do those things at the same time, you have to take certain steps to get there. Anywhere is a great opportunity. So making sure, like I said, you want to put yourself in position so you can be able to go and experience those things, to go to college and play ball and further the education. Because at the end of the day, man, education is the most important thing. You know, everybody, you know, Pretty sure y'all guys know the statistics aren't always that high for everybody making it to the NFL. But at the end of the day, that education is something that nobody can never take from you. Man, let's break it down. Let's go. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Hey, making sure y'all finish in practice today, man. Like I said, man, take everything one day at a time. Take school one day at a time. And take these games one day at a time. And take it all the way to the state, man. Let's go, man. Hard work going three. One, two, three. Hard work. Y'all boys hungry? <laughs> Come on, let's eat, let's eat, let's eat. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Bring it up. There you go. So my three chickens right here, and then my one sirloin right here. Nah, no problem, no problem. Yes, sir, yes, sir. It means so much to the Stratford family, to our football program to have Kevin and his mother come out. We know how much mothers love football and love their sons, and, and we just appreciate them coming back and giving back out to the community. Later in this edition of Titans All Access, Mike Keith sits down with Titans running back Derrick Henry. 99 yards! The longest run in franchise history! But standing by, Titans general manager John Robinson. Stay tuned. Titans All Access continues with general manager John Robinson. Now, I know it's been over a week 
but we haven't seen you since the Kansas City win for the Titans. When you reflect back on that victory at Nissan Stadium, what stands out about the Titans' performance? Well, it was certainly one of the more exciting games that, that I've been a part of live. I think, you know, kind of watching back through it, really the way the players just fought for 60 minutes. I mean, it took every second of that game. There were a lot of ups, there were a lot of downs, but we stayed the course and we kept finding ways to make a play. We have enjoyed talking about your draft class during the course of the season. Let's talk about linebacker David Long Jr. Got a chance to play a lot in the Kansas City game, 27 snaps, 11 tackles. Talk to us about the progress of number 51. Yeah, it was much the same that we saw, you know, in his tape at West Virginia. He, he finally got an opportunity to get out there and play more defensively with Jayon Brown missing the game. Just really proud of him. And I think a lot of the things that we saw on the college film when we were evaluating came kind of to fruition on Sunday against the Chiefs. Not hesitant to trigger. He played reckless. He was a part of a play that calls it fumble, which is a big turnaround for us in the game. You know, just really proud of the way he works on a day-in and day-out basis and took advantage of the chance he had. Derrick Henry had his best day of the season, 23 carries, 188 yards, and two touchdowns. So I'm wondering, because he had his best day of the season, safe to say the Titans had their best run-blocking game of the season so far? Well, two, the, the two both, like, they, you know, they go hand in hand. So I, it probably was a little bit better. You know, I thought our guys got on their guys and, and finished, and that's what the run game is about for those guys up front is getting on your guy, blocking that guy till, till you hear the whistle. And Derek did a really good job being patient, yet pressing the hole, reading, letting the play develop, and then putting his foot in the ground and getting downhill and, and running through contact. Jacksonville, the opponent this weekend. Quarterback is now Nick Foles. That's not who you saw in week three. How does that change the Jacksonville offense? Yeah, he, I mean, he's, he's a good athlete. He's got good size. He's got a good arm. He's certainly been in a lot of big games, been in the biggest game and won it in a Super Bowl. He's got a lot of good players around him. Those guys are playing well. Fournette, Chark, uh, Westbrook, Cole, all of those guys are, are making plays for, for that offense. So I'm sure getting him back, those guys will be excited to play with him. A piece taken out on defense, Jalen Ramsey now plays for the Rams. You played against him in week three. How does his absence change the Jacksonville defense and more specifically change their secondary? Well, I mean, I think anytime you lose one of your, your better players, it certainly impacts you uh, to a degree. But they've got a lot of good players, you know, on that side of the ball with Ngigwe, Campbell up front, the rookie Allen, Miles Jack at linebacker. And in the secondary, they've still got a lot of great pieces with DJ Hayden, Bouye, Harrison at safety. Uh, Coach Wash does a great job with those guys. He and Coach Marone, you know, they've constructed it around to continue to play Jaguars football. What must the Titans do better this weekend than they did in week three against the Jaguars? Yeah, kind of shot ourselves in the foot early in, in week three and, and had a turnover down there and gave them points. And I really felt uh, you could feel the momentum in the stadium kind of swing towards the Jaguar. And we never could make enough plays to get the momentum back on, on our side. So you know, we've got to start fast and we've got to get up on these guys and we've got to get the momentum on our side and then finish and play for 60 minutes. And get that crowd involved. That's it. That's the thing. Thanks, John. Thank you. John Robinson with us on Titans All Access. When we come back, we go behind the flame and beneath the surface. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Titans All Access. Ryan Tannehill has been playing some good quarterback for the Tennessee Titans since he took over as the starter last month. Doing a lot of great things, and Coach Dave McGinnis takes a look at some of the best plays that he's made so far and shows you why Tannehill has been so effective. This is Coach Mack, game day color analyst for Titans Radio. Today we're going to go beneath the surface. We're going to give you three examples in two big home games of Ryan Tannehill, great field leadership and great field execution that led to two huge wins in Nissan Stadium. Our first example today, third and five, balls on the plus five yard line. What we see here is 11 personnel. You've got three wide outs, you've got one tight end. Jonu Smith comes in motion to get a man zone declaration. The Chargers are in a six up look, mugging the A gaps. They're trying to show that this might be a pressure, but they're going to bail out and you're going to see they're only going to rush two people and drop nine down here in the low red zone. Ryan Tannehill does a tremendous job of taking a snap, looking off the safety, Dennis Kelly, nice job on Bosa up top in a single block. You've now got three offensive linemen to block one because they're dropping nine. Ryan Tannehill takes a nice look. Really nice move here on the outside. Ty J. Sharp, 
comes down the field. This is a blown coverage by the Chargers. Ryan Tannehill recognizes it immediately, sets his foot, delivers a dart to the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Titans. Our next example against this Kansas City Chiefs. First and nine on the plus nine yard line. Now we're looking at 12 personnel, two wide outs, two tight ends. Kansas City has got a four man front. They're actually gonna end up being a five man blitz. So the protection has to be good. The protection is excellent. They try to run a tackle twist game on the inside. Center guard triangle does a great job on the tackle twist. We've got really nice slide protection here. Play action, Derrick Henry does an excellent, excellent job picking up the end man of the line of scrimmage. The Chiefs are in man-to-man -man defense, and so what you have to do with man-to-man -man defense, watch Anthony Ferkser at the top, does a really nice job sticking his foot in the ground, give a little head nod to the outside. Ryan Tannehill takes a quick look to Michael Pruitt, looks back up top to Ferkser, throws a dart, lays out, great hand catch, tremendous throw from the backside, Touchdown, Titans. t rack happy. Our last example, again, the Kansas City Chiefs game. You can see the Chiefs are trying to hurry back to the line of scrimmage. Ryan Tannehill does a nice job of deploying his people. We're now looking at 11 personnel. You've got three wideouts, one tight end, one back in the ball game. The Kansas City Chiefs go to a five under, two deep man defense. The receivers are running what we call a four seam, four up. Ryan Tannehill recognizes the coverage immediately. He manipulates the safety on this hash with his eyes to the outside deep seam. Then when he manipulates a man to the outside, you can see Adam Humphreys works his magic in the slot, a real quick stick nod move to the outside. Tannehill immediately sees it as soon as he clears. Seam throw, safeties are both widened to the wide seams going. Perfect throw, great catch. Nice job of running through contact at the goal line. Touchdown, Titans. Huge, huge play. I quit playing football because I was, I was small and uh, I was kind of scared. And then I grew and then <laughs> I got my confidence back. <laughs> First love was baseball. I can do that with my eyes closed. I think it was my dad's fault. That's the sport he wanted me to play because he played. As soon as I could walk, I had a bat in my hand and I was walking around the house hitting things, breaking stuff. It came down to what I love the most. Football, you doing something every play, you're involved in baseball. You know, you might not get a ball hit to you until like the eighth inning or ninth inning. So, I mean, it's just a slow paced game. and. Football. Who don't like to catch touchdowns in front of fans? <laughs> My lady always told me, believe, believe you're the best. You be number one all the time. So uh, I always wear number one. And so unfortunately, I couldn't wear it in the NFL. At first, it was black. And I said, uh, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to do a little something. I named it Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> I named it Gucci. And um, I just blonded it. I was like, I'm going to blind it. And uh, people was like, you should blind the rest. And I'm like, no. Nah. You know, because it's a little catchy, you know, don't nobody got no blind in the back of their head. So uh, I'm just going to let it grow. Like, I'm going to let my hair grow and I'm not, I'm not going to cut it again. Gucci will remain. It may not be blind forever, but it's going to remain. <laughs> I get the opportunity to do what I love on an everyday basis. I don't, I don't have to do this. I get to do this. It's, it's a blessing. Just be here in Tennessee. Not far from home. I was a lucky one. So uh, it's only, what, four and a half hour drive, 30 minute flight. I really enjoy Tennessee, enjoying the team. I'm, I'm, this environment, just trying to get my get my feet settled and uh, just just be me. But I'm I'm, I'm really excited to be here and I love being. When we return, it's time to talk to number 22, Mike Keith and Derek Henry in this week's Nissan Insider. Stay tuned for this special conversation next on Titans All Access. <laughs> Derrick Henry's knocking on the door of 1,000 yards rushing for the second straight year. But Mike, he's just so fun to watch. I don't care about the numbers. <laughs> I just want to watch him. Well, run. that's good. Mm -hmm. And the numbers are great, too. But you're right. He is a fun player to watch, in part because he loves the game so much. <laughs> How much of what you or any running back does is just natural? Is just God given? Speaking for you know myself and probably guys in the league, we've been doing it so long. We're playing running back probably when we were little and 
Pop Warner, rec ball, and going to middle school, high school, I guess it's just come natural. And then as you get older, you learn from coaching and experience, and you just let your game take over from there, and that's how you find your identity as a running back. What's the hardest part of being an NFL running back? You know, guys are just so smart. All these guys on defense watch a lot of film, you know, so you got to make sure, you know, you're being consistent in your play. I think that's the big thing, you know, just being this consistent, being efficient runner, being effective with the ball, not just running the ball, but pass catching the ball, being physical and blocking. You know, you just want to be the total package. You know, the NFL, you know, guys like that don't come around often. You said something about consistent, and, and that's what you've been this year that has been so impressive. Guys at the running back position come into the NFL and flash and then go away. It happens all the time. What's the key to developing the type of consistency that Derrick Henry has developed? I definitely have to be better. I wouldn't say I've been very consistent, but, you know, just my mentality is trying to get better each and every week. And I think just a mentality, you know, having a job approach. You know, it's a grown man league, so you got to take your job serious. You know, watch film, you know, be coachable. The little details matter, the little small things. And just focus on being efficient, being consistent in what you do, and having confidence in your play each and every week. Where have you improved the most as a running back since you won the Heisman Trophy at Alabama? It's just a different approach, you know, in the NFL. Everybody was the best player on their team, you know. You know guys, a lot of experiences, guys get paid a lot to, you know, play at a high level, pro bowlers, all pro. So you gotta make sure that you're working on each and everything you need to get better at, which I feel like I can get better at everything. So I try to focus on each and everything, each week or each day, because I'm always looking to get better. That's been my main focus since I've been in the, in the NFL. Cold weather is upon us. Do you like playing in cold weather? And the second part is, why do you think you're more effective in cold weather? It really don't matter to me. Football is football. If it's cold, rainy, or hot, I mean, you just got to go out there and play. You know, that's the nature of the game. You don't have to play in those conditions. And I think it's just a mindset to go out there and play at a high level and win games with the team you're playing against. I, know, I think it's just a, a different mentality, you know, when it gets to the cold weather, you know, because nobody really wants to play in the cold, but you just have to be physical. Like I said, it's just a mindset thing. I think you just got to run, run more physical, one court runs, and just get downhill. Play in the division. When you play Jacksonville, you know they're going to be tough games. What's the key to having success running the football against a physical defense like Jacksonville's? I think you just got to uh, stay with it, stay confident, and believe in you know, the game plan that's been installed for their defense where it might be muddy at times, it might not be big runs, but I feel like as the game goes on, if you stick to your rules and what you do as an offense, I think that those four to five yard games are turning into bigger games, you know, because they're fast, they're physical, got disruptive guys, so, you know, you just gotta stay locked in even when it don't seem like nothing's going well. Finally, the high school playoffs are here and that's a big deal for so many young people and their families. Overall, a lot of people don't know that one of your biggest accolades is you are the all-time leading rusher in the history of American high school football. Does that still blow your mind in some ways? When I first broke it and, you know, going to college, I thought, you know, it was just so crazy, but, you know, it's been a while since, you know, that's happened, something that I'll never forget, you know, my high school teammates, because, you know, we all worked hard together and, I, you know, I appreciate them and all my coaches, you know, through all those four years. And, it was a big accomplishment, something that I never thought I'd be able to accomplish, but it's definitely something I, I cherish, you know, still to this day. And do you think about during this playoff time, how special it is for all these young people as it was special for you playing at Uly? Oh yeah, definitely. I know some of all those guys playing from their hometown and, you know, getting to be in the playoffs extending that season. You know, some guys might be their last year playing. Some guys might be playing with a guy that he who's a senior and they're a junior, you know, last game playing with, but the high school memories, you know, you, you cherish those are the most and they're like Friday night lights. Man, Derrick Henry loves football. Yes, he does. I love it. Yeah, good stuff with Derrick Henry. Thanks to him for taking time with us on Titans All Access. When we come back, we've got good news and good nights. Stay tuned. On the next Titans All Access, Amy Wells sets down for a special Nissan Insider with quarterback Ryan Tannehill. What does Tannehill have? Throws left side, going for Sharp. Tajay caught it. Touchdown, Titans! The 31-year-old signal caller shares his thoughts on what it's like to lead the Titans offense. Relying our confidence in waiver. We had a lot of belief that we're going to find a way to win. Tannehill looking. 
looking, firing over the middle, caught. Humphreys five, Humphreys in zone, touchdown Titans! Titans quarterback Ryan Tannehill, one-on-one on the next Titans All Access. Well, that's some good news. Amy Wells with Ryan Tannehill next week on Titans All Access. Yeah, it was great to sit down and talk to him, and we had a lot to talk about, so it's definitely something you don't want to miss. More good news. The Titans' relationship with Second Harvest Food Bank. Next week is Thanksgiving, and Amy Wells, the team works hard with Second Harvest to help people who don't have as much as a lot of us do. Absolutely, in a season of eating, you know, and giving, it's good to have this partnership with the Tennessee Titans and Second Harvest Food Bank. We took some time to go over there and talk to them about keeping the spirit of giving alive all season long. It's a really big deal for us because the voice and the strength of having the Titans and the Titans players and the community and the fans seeing that hunger is an issue and that they really can help is a big deal. If you think about Middle Tennessee, there's just about 360,000 individuals that are food insecure. And so our whole goal is to not only get the food to them, but also to help touch their lives. Uh, thank you, Second Harvest Food Bank, for what you do. And the Titans are very proud to be one of your partners in this community. For Amy Wells, I'm Mike Keith. Happy Thanksgiving, and we'll see you next time.